The earliest mythology of creation from the Sumerians describes Enki instructing Nintu, the goddess of birth, to establish a third category among the people in addition to men and women. World creation myth describes how the earth and sky were one, and then divided to create men and women. We have all heard the story of Eve being separated from Adam. Nature is a universe of diversity. And yet spiral galaxies and molecular structures exhibit striking similarities. In the plant and animal kingdom, some snails have both male and female reproductive organs. Some species of fish will be born as females and later biologically switch to being males or vice versa, strictly based on behavioral patterns in their life cycles. Our biological sex determination is controlled by chromosomes, hormones, the anatomical development of our bodies, and chemical reactions in areas of the brain, beginning in the womb and continuing throughout our lives. In some intersex conditions, females will redevelop during puberty, growing male facial hair and developing male attributes. Others are born with ambiguous genitalia or variations of both. Sometimes some of it works and sometimes it does not. They are born in between. The condition is not as rare as you might think. In fact, many of us may have the condition labeled DSD by the medical community and not even know it throughout our entire lives. There are at least 23 recognized variations of DSD. Since the 1950s, the standard medical procedure has been to reassign at birth, often surgically butchering or psychologically damaging for life. In days of old, many were killed at birth. Today, some lead lives of isolation, depression, or with thoughts of suicide. Some even succeed to take their own lives. Others go on to lead happy and productive lives. Hermaphrodites, androgyny, and hishis have cultural and historical roots dating back to the Egyptians, the Greeks, Hindu and Buddhist religions, and more recently, Native Americans. As a society, we need to understand that a third sex does exist. I think that uh, what we're talking about are the natural varieties of human condition. Nature loves variety. Unfortunately, society doesn't always uh, appreciate these differences. Many of our friends, neighbors, co-workers, and even family members, even though not observable from outward appearance, may possibly be living their lives with a secret that continues to disturb them every day of their lives. Through recent science and research, we now know why. And these are the scientific facts and reasons I decided to make this film. I'm willing to go and do what I can to help the cause. We hope you can help too. Together with our wonderful and very experienced producer, a long list of advisors, supporters, and content contributors, we've gathered an enthusiastic team with a mission to tell their story in depth as never told before. Because we also want you to know the truth. And if you're like me, perplexed at how people can be so different when it comes to sex characteristics, you'll want to know and understand why too. Sex as in male or female, or intersex. Sex is biological. Gender is a social construction. And preference is not the focus of our story. Our government policies, schools, and workplaces will have to reevaluate their social constructs, laws, attitudes, and behaviors. It's a delicate subject. And there are many that will never be open to the truth, even if it is based on scientific facts. Which is why we need you to help us. Because alone we cannot awaken a sleeping giant. Continuing to ignore the issue will not solve it. And it will not justify our actions toward our fellow human beings, which in every other way are just like us.